Hi, it's Simon. It's Wednesday, one of our upgrade days, and today is actually the 50th day of this 99-day video challenge. Now, I've got my phone in front of me. I sent a message to Telman, who's the reason I'm doing this. Uh, several months ago, I reached out to Telman about a completely different thing. I had no idea we'd have the conversation we did, and that personal, private conversation with somebody I've known and actually admired for many years impacted me, and not in the ways I expected. And when I shared with him last night, I wanted to thank him for what he'd done, and actually nudging me, pushing me to do this 99-day challenge, I wrote a couple of things I'm going to share with you now. And the first is that it's actually been one of the constants that I've done. So over the last 50 days, every day I've done this video. In fact, one of my mentees is like, wow, you've been doing over 40 days, nearly 50 days of videos. And in everything that's going on, this aspect of having something that's constant, something that you give your word to, and that you go after day after day after day, can really make all the difference and not in the ways you often expect. We do daily conference calls and currently we're on day, I think we're on day 14 of a 99 day process. Let me check that, it's day, uh, yeah, today is the 13th of March. It's the 13th day of the course and it's the fourth day we started. So that daily process for 99 days is happening during this 99 day challenge. And 99 is quite an interesting time, right? It's big enough that you can think about. You could almost count it on your fingers and toes if you kept going. But it's not a year, it's not a decade. And it's great to have those, but having a three-month activity, 99 days, I think is really exciting because it's big enough that you can commit to it. It's going to stretch you, it's going to move you forward. So whether you're already doing the 99-day challenge, whether you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's the first time you're watching me and hearing about it, Think of something you can do for 99 days. And the thing that I was challenged with was to do a short video like this every day for 99 days. Now, whatever comes up for you, that's okay. It's the same for me when Telman asked me to do it. I was like, no, no, I can't do that. I don't do camera stuff. I'm like behind the camera normally. I'm the guy behind the scenes, strategic planning meetings. And so you'll notice that what you expect it's gonna be and what you think the process is gonna be is not what the process is. Now that may sound like a little woo-woo, that might sound very comical, it might sound very obvious to you. That's okay, but will you take it on? Will you take on the 99-day challenge for yourself and see what happens? I hope you do. Now the second thing I talked about is this aspect of us not being sure what the future holds, because I don't. Today in the UK, it's Wednesday, people are getting back to work, you can hear some noise maybe in the background they're doing some, I think, gardening or logging over there. And the truth of it is we are still unfolding this ac academic activity of the pandemic and how to handle it. We're also dealing with the very reality, the very human nature of how to feed ourselves, look after ourselves and survive and ideally start to move into thrival. I've seen people make incredible results and progress and I've seen people being taken out physically and with their businesses in the last few months in ways that most of them never expected. And so the future is still very uncertain in many ways. And I think if we forget that, that's going to be a bit strange. But if we can stand for having this thing of every day doing the 99 day challenge, well, then I think there's something inside of this storm that will give you some certainty to, to build on. Now, the last thing in here is this, and that is that I really was looking forward to, to meeting up. So the last few months, people like Joshua, Jason, Telman and Jack, people like David, people like you, Sam, and you, Lila, they've made all the difference to me. And it's the human beings often that make the difference. Those people that reach out and you have a conversation with, and you, Paul. You know, it, there's a lot of people in my world I'm really excited about the chance to spend quality time with in the future. And some of these people I've known for decades and not understood what was really possible when we reached out the way we could do now. When the world asked us to stay still, to go into lockdown and to reveal more of who we are. People like Tom, people like Rich. There are credible people out there that I've often only met with a decade ago. And it wasn't, it wasn't important to meet up, it wasn't a priority to meet up. It's just that people get busy and busy people get busy. And so you are invited to come to my birthday party, you're invited to come and connect. And that aspect of spending quality time and just connecting, just because we can, not because it's gonna make me a dollar or I see a business opportunity to do, but just actually really spend quality time with these people to thank them for what they did for me. And so that conversation with Telman that wasn't the one I thought it was gonna be, where we had a very real conversation about what's important to him, important to me, and at the end of that, out of nowhere, seemingly from my perspective, he went, you know, there's this thing, why don't you go do that? And it was a challenge, and it was sent from my perspective, from the universe, through him as a friend, and it got me doing this. 
and it fitted into other things and the momentum starts to build up and I still don't know what the future is going to hold but I know that I'm grateful for the process, I'm grateful for that nudging, I'm grateful for the pushing and today is actually the 40th anniversary of a date that means a lot to me and my family and I'm not going to share that today, it's not about that, it's about you and how you can move forward but I promise you if you take on just doing one thing every day for 99 days, whether it's a breath practice, whether it's meditation, whether it's doing a video like this to camera, you'll be blown away by what happens. 20 years ago, I started a training course learning to speak in public, and now some people would say, you can't shut me up, give me a stage, I'm off and going. But I've also got important to me and clear to me that salient is important, focus is important, and having a structure to build on. And so tell me if you're watching this, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are a wizard and a genius, and I can't wait to see you again live in the world. And thank you for nudge yesterday to do today's video with the video about the video, if that makes sense. So yesterday he was the one that said, you should do a video, I would do a video about what you just shared with me, which is what I'm doing right now. So tell me, thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.